Welcome to this tutorial presenting MIDI control. Let's see how you can plug, play, and map any controller. Connect a controller to the device running Remix Live. If it's already mapped, you'll be ready to jam right away. In this video, we'll show you how to do everything you see here. Launching loops, finger drumming, and how to control all the different views and parameters. Let's start with the basics, launching loops. On this controller, the top row is used as a beat clock indicator, while the bottom row has mute buttons for the mixer channels. You can also map buttons to access all the different views. Here's the mixer. The controller makes it super easy to adjust levels on the fly. You can control everything with anything. Pads, views, mixer, even the XY effect pad. Different controllers will allow for different kinds of FX pad control. You can use pads, knobs, wheels, joysticks, bananas, you name it. Let's switch to the drum grid. Pick a sound to play on the live keyboard. You can map buttons to switch between keys and scales as well. Stick around to learn how to map your own controller. MIDI is also useful for operating the transport controls in song mode. Any of the controls can be mapped to any button on your controller. But let's start fresh with an empty timeline. Here, we've mapped the record button. So we can use only the controller to record an entire song. The grid on the controller is the loop grid. This way, you can focus on performing while keeping an eye on the timeline. Once you're happy with the recording of your song, you can hit stop. Let's listen to it. Using this method, you can quickly jam and put things together. Now let's walk you through how to map your own MIDI controller. This controller has already been mapped to play the live keyboard. But what about all the controls up there? Can we use them too? Let's go to the settings to map them ourselves. Scroll down until you see the MIDI devices option, then tap on the controller name and the plus new button. Select a parameter you want to map, then move the knob or hit the pad you want to assign it to. Let's try this out. In this example, we mapped this knob to the kick channels filter. See how it moves as we turn the knob? Awesome. As long as your controller is compatible with your device, then you can map anything. Let's use our quick mapping option to map these four pads. Tap quick map on the drum grid section. Once it's activated, hit each pad once to map it. Mapping an entire controller can be done within seconds. We hope you've enjoyed this video and for more information, check out the description. We're waiting to hear what you will produce.